welcome back to my channel it's a girl amije here and just in case you're seeing my face for the first time you're yeah, welcome to join us so today's video is from pink book lessons hot guest summer supporters mad at india india Ari. she responded to backlash from feminists mm, let's check it out guys hey y'all uh, there's a saying the lie makes it around the world before the truth gets out of bed social media blending with the news has created this thing where they make stories just to get clicks. So they made it look like my story was, I have harsh words, harsh words, harsh words for Janelle Monae and Meg Thee Stallion, and I do not. If I were addressing Janelle Monae and Meg Thee Stallion, that would have been clear. The concept that anytime a woman says anything, even in the vicinity of another woman, she's being catty and she's fighting. And so now we got this headline about what I supposedly did. Who I was addressing were the people in the comments explaining to them that the video in question, not Meg Thee Stallion, not Janelle, but the video in question was out of context for the Essence Festival. Yeah, um, I can't play that video. It's too repulsive and out of order for YouTube. By now though, I'm sure you've all seen the video of Meg Thee Stallion. She was hosting some hot girl summer boot camp at the Essence Festival this year. Translation, it was just a bunch of Dollar Tree mop buckets up there popping their thought pockets at the Essence Festival with Janelle Monet confused self cheering them on while they all embarrassed us across the world with Essence streaming live now everywhere. Many people now watching in Africa too. It's also the same stage where Janelle Monet got up there on one of the previous days of the festival and decided she was going to flash the audience. A woman who is always preaching consent but didn't get consent from the audience to show any of that. And then after the festival, it was Essence who used these pieces of thoughtery to market the performance and share these on their social media platforms, further clapping it up and condoning all of this. India Ari responded, saying what a lot of us thought, which is why are they doing this at Essence? The people who go to Essence they're not looking for Freaknik, they're looking for Essence. An educated or professional crowd, a more mature crowd, a more classy, sophisticated crowd. Politicians go there, women who work in corporate, women with families, stay at home or nine to five. Aunties, mamas, grandmamas, many grandmamas came for years to see Frankie Beverly and them. And it was just so shocking to see this going on. This was not normal for Essence at all. I talked a lot about that in the last video. If you missed that lesson, the link will be below. But after NTRE spoke with common sense and decency, you had all those feminist blogs and other publications who act like they're supporting black women and helping them be free by being 304s. You had all of them coming for NTRE, along with a bunch of crazies on social media. Now India is back to speak on her comments and the backlash that she received for simply saying what needed to be said. Take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time, let's go ahead and jump into it. Essence is a 53 year old institution that was always about wholesome black entertainment. The brand shifted right under people's feet. That's what I meant when I said context. Right there, India is showing her comment that she made, the one that got a lot of people upset with her. You can pause and read it if you missed it from the last video. But she was saying all that hopping on stage, Meg the Stallion telling women to do it on the you can fill in the blank, women flashing body parts like that one letting the whole audience see all that cellulite. And it was just embarrassing. None of that is normal for Essence at all. When you go to New Orleans for this event, this is not what you're supposed to get. It was given, who told these people it was Amateur Night at Magic City in here? What's going on? So I was 100% with India. What I did was jump into the comment section. And in fact, in defense of someone who's in the comment section trying to explain her uh, trust of Essence brand being broken. Oh yeah, I love that comment here. It's great to see us touching and agreeing on this topic especially as a minority of black women. When you have so many black women who disagree with this message of stop acting like heathens, running around here embarrassing all of us, it's good to see when we can touch and agree. I commented about the context. That's what I did. 
We all know everybody twerks. Everybody knows who Megan Stallion is. She's one of the biggest stars in the world, and so is Janelle. Everybody knows what they're about and what they do. We weren't saying that they shouldn't do what they do. We were saying context, which is what my message said. The part that really is important that people should know is that the Essence Festival was purchased. And so the new owners are trying to take it in a different direction, and they are. And the rub is that people weren't told that. So now everybody's buying their tickets to go enjoy their weekend down in New Orleans in July like they've been doing for the last 20, 25 years. And this moment happens on stage. I'm on Context, the context is weird. The context is making people uncomfortable. I have a lot more to say about people talking about policing women's bodies. And respectability politics. I have a lot to say about both of those things. And while I feel that I'm a person who has earned the benefit of the doubt, and if you see me make a comment, you can read it with a tone of love. What I am realizing is that sometimes it's just the weather outside. That's what social media is. It's the tone in the air. It captures the tone in the air. So since everybody's arguing, you imagine that I'm arguing too. And so since everybody's trying to police black women's bodies, you imagine that's what I'm about too. And so because everybody is trying to put people in these boxes, you imagine that's what I'm about too. That's not what I'm about. I've always told you what I'm about. For the last 20 plus years, my whole adult life, I've been nothing but uplifting and deeply caring and deeply loving and speaking highly of us as black people always. I released the song Brown Skin, what, 18 years before Brown Skin Girl? I've been about this. Well, get them straight, Miss Sari. She says she made brown skin 18 years before Beyonce made brown skin girl. She said she's been showing love to black people. So why would you come for a person who's done nothing but uplift you? Well, for one, modern black women, they don't think they're black people. They think they're another group. And we all know to the heathens, uplifting? That means something totally different to them. They let Amber Rose, a woman who don't even want to be black, fool them into slut walks, just like that liberation that Janelle Monae is always talking about. Their liberation means being free to be a 304 and work for the devil. They are all playing on his team. Uplifting them in 2023 means supporting their lies. Carly Russell can run around here lying for a week, come out and admit that she lied, and they still expect for all of us to stay on call with her and her foolishness. Support her after what she's done. That's what uplifting means to them lying to them like all these simps and old school divas and new school boss chicks do every day all to make them feel good or all in the name of having quote fun while destroying the whole black family at this point it's black women being used to sabotage black people in general and that's what's going on with essence i'm still about this i love us i have my opinions about things that may differ from other people but i don't be out here arguing with people I speak my mind, I share my ideas, but I've always done that. And I'm always going to. So anybody who thinks that I don't even have the right to speak. We disagree off the top right there. So I'm always gonna speak my mind. Always have, I always will. Now what these blogs are saying I did, I can't stop them, which is so annoying that people be out here lying like they do and using other people's energy to create stuff for themselves. And while I cannot stop you from doing it, I'm making this video just to clear up one piece of this. And here India is like, I'm still one of you. You know, she embraced the feminist, the feminist embraced her for years and she can't tell him nothing. Now we're clear. We'll get clear on the rest another time. <sighs> I love y'all, but I don't be liking all y'all. <laughs> Bye. Hey, I'm with India on that. I love y'all, but I don't like all y'all. And a lot of y'all don't like me either, but guess what? I'm not here for you to like me. Y'all don't have to listen to me. You're not rebelling against me or black women who think like me. You're not even rebelling against black men. You're rebelling against the orders of the Most High. Everything that we're supposed to be and everything we're supposed to do and how we behave, he already told you what to do. But you want to dance with the devil and that's on you. Uh-huh, y'all want to be a hot girl so bad. Get ready to burn for eternity. 
But yeah, I wanted to share NDRE's message. She did highlight that Essence was sold. The new owner, Mr. Dennis, a man from Liberia, who everyone once supported with his old brand, Shea Moisture, and called him a sellout when he sold the company. Yeah, he's now being marketed as the new owner of Essence. And Miss Caroline Wanga, a Kenyan woman, is the CEO and president. I'm starting to wonder who else is behind this though. Because you have African people who come from a more traditional background, you would expect for them to push excellence and black women having dignity, but they're hosting and promoting this debauchery. But when we talk about half a million people for 27 years have live gathered in New Orleans, you can't find another one that does that, that then is just about us and our culture. And then the third piece I'd say is what happened, what's happening right now that I'm even more excited about is what COVID gave us the opportunity to do virtually was to be able to bring together a broader diaspora. Mm. to experience this thing that we have had here in the U.S., but is really about global black culture, which is a part of our mission in this phase of essence as well. And so in 2020, we had 45 million views of the virtual festival. In 2021, we had 65 million views. And 2022, for the first time, the festival will be both live and virtual with wow. unique and hybrid experiences for all. And this is why what India Ari was saying to them is so important. Outside of the US, their biggest target right now would be the African woman. So they're trying to program her too. Something is going on, I don't like it. I'm happy India Ari spoke out about it. It's definitely a time and place for everything. We don't want Magic City and King of Diamonds at Essence. Leave that in Miami and Atlanta. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. What do you think about India's message? Special thank you to Jay Andre. I guys, um, I, I've been saying this. I've been saying. I've been saying this. As somebody in the comment is saying, I'm, 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 you know how this person will say, oh, because I want a green card. See, the way Black Americans, especially the women, represent themselves on social media is so disgusting. No wonder. I'm sure the reason why those people that took over are giving them what they because that maybe they must have sat behind them in their meeting and say. We know that these people don't like classy stuff. They don't like uh, virtue, the virtuous stuff. Let's give them the streets. Let's take them to the street where they belong. I will say it if you like, don't like it, but that's the thing. I imagine, imagine. Oh, that's so disgusting, guys. Can you imagine? A show that has been on for how many, for, for over two decades, and somebody now comes to buy it. And then starts, oh, see, I've been saying it. America, it's high time you guys stood up for yourselves because the devil is really fighting America and he's using every avenue. Like, the devil is using every avenue available. Every avenue available. He has agents that are willing to work for him for even for a penny. So he will use every every door that is open, he will use it. And long time ago, black men have been misbehaving. I don't know. Sorry to say, but it's true. You see, them, many of them are single mothers. They've not even grown. They're not even grown enough to even cater for you, for themselves. Talking of catching for a baby. And you see them breathing up and down. And they don't even have the time to even cater for, to train their children upright. What do you expect? What do you expect? Oh, no, this, this is very, no, this is not good at all. Oh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And take care of yourself, guys. Bye.